Um, how long has this been going on here now? Um, well, they were here before, uh, the Beef Plan Movement and some of the IFA members. And in fairness, they left the, the picket line for talks the last time. And them talks resulted in nothing, so, um, or very little. So, as an idle lot of farmers, um, as you can see there by the crowd and more coming, um, as, as what has happened. It's starting to team rain here now and still, the crowds are still coming to us. So, as an idle lot of farmers, um, that the beef price isn't on the table. Um, we need to sit down, the ministers, IFA, beef plan movement, and, and the other organisations, ICMFA, and try and get uh, negotiation with the factories and um, meet in Dusty Ireland. They, they all need to sit down. And sit down now, today is Monday. Then. We need to sit down before this evening on Tuesday. And I've been calling on, on the minister and, and meet in Dusty Ireland to go back to the table. Like, like, these men aren't going to give in here. Price has to be on the table. So these men aren't going to give in here. Like if there's, there's jobs at stake below in the factory. These men's jobs at stake here to hold the family farms and keep them together. You know the comments that were made from um, um, manager of uh, the mart here, the manager, the owner of the Liffey Meats here, regarding it's not that bad yet that uh, people hadn't to sell their land. That has hurt a lot of people. In fact, it has put the blood up on a lot of farmers. That, that are common like that and, and there has no apology today have been coming regarding that statement. Now I think uh, going forward um, we don't need court injunctions, we need to sit down and have talks and have structured talks and then and only then will this get resolved. It's unfortunate that farmers have to come out of this day and age and stand up for what they believe in and I'm glad I've joined them here today. I intend to stay with them. As you can see, the guards are here. There's cattle on the road to come in here. This is going to hurt everybody. It's going to hurt the farmers in their pockets. It's going to hurt the factory in their pockets. It's going to hurt the small shops down the road. But unfortunately, the farmers are after suffering for the last eight years. There's meal bills out there. There's fertilizer that can't be paid for. There's land rent that can't be paid for. There's crowds are only starting to gather here. And unfortunately, it's going to have to stay that way until there's some negotiation. So I would be urging on uh, the people that are in the powers up there to go and sit down and have talks and have emergency talks this evening somewhere. Like as, as Pat McDonough said there from Supermax, he understands the plight that farmers are in. Like common sense approach, what that man has taken, I think will go a long way. And I think common sense need to, needs to prevail here and talks need to start sooner rather than later. And for everybody's sake, like there's elderly men here sleeping in a jeep. It's not good for their mental health. It's not good for anybody's health. Uh, these men would rather be at home doing what they love. But unfortunately, they're forced to here today. And we see we see the, the, the livestock down the road here. It's not good to have livestock standing in, a, in trailers outside the road here. I don't know why they were organised to come here when they knew there was a, a protest. But unfortunately, that's what it is. But look at um, the next day or two is going to have... Uh, serious repercussions for everybody so we're hoping that there'll be peaceful talks and that it will get sorted out in the next day or two.